Welcome. In this video, we'll see how to use the internal ADC of BIC microcontroller for converting analog value into a digital value. So this is the circuit uh, required for converting analog value to digital value. We have just connected one port over here and using this port, we are going to vary the analog voltage, which will be displayed uh, using this voltage probe and the digital value will be available on port D and two pins of port C. The ADC which is present inside peak microcontroller peak 16F877 is of 10 bits. So out of 10 bits, eight bits will be available on port D and remaining two bits will be available on uh, RC0 and RC1 pins of port C. And we have used this uh, BCD seven segment displays for displaying the digital value. Now we'll see how to write the program for uh, this. So this is the program for uh, A to D conversion. So first here, the uh, I've used a template file, uh, which is present in the microchip folder. So in that, uh, this is already present in that template file. So we have to just start writing program from this main label onwards. So uh, here I have first selected the uh, bank cell tris D because I want to make port D as output port. Uh, because I want to display the 10 bit digital value using uh, the port pins of big microcontroller. So for that, I need to make the ports as output ports. And to do that, I have to use Tris D register. So I have to transfer 00 to Tris D register to make the entire port as output port. Next, I have to make the uh, two pins that is RC0 and RC1 pin of port C as output. That's why I have selected here BCF Tris C comma zero and BCF Tris C comma one. So using this, the two pins will be made as output pins. Next, we have here uh, ADCON one SFR, which is again used for configuring the uh, A2D model, which is present in big microcontroller. So uh, using this register, we have uh, we have to uh, find out the values uh, according to the format of that register and the uh, value that I have found out is 80 hex. So when I transfer this value 80 hex to ADCON 1, uh, I will have the uh, setting as right justified result and uh, all the pins of ADC will be configured as analog input pins. You can change this as per your requirement. So. Uh, Next SFR is ADCON 0. So in this, I have just copied 00. You can again uh, refer to the format of ADCON 0 and find out what value should be loaded in that register according to your requirement. Now, when I transfer value 00, it means that I have selected clock to the ADC as F oscillator by 2 and I have selected channel 0 of ADC. Now, there are multiple channels for uh, ADC. So out of that, I have selected channel 0 as the input channel for uh, analog to digital conversion. Next, I have uh, used this instruction to turn on the A2D module. So using this, the A2D module will be turned on. After that, uh, I have uh, set the go done bar bit in ADCON 0 register. Now this bit is used for uh, starting the A to D conversion and when the conversion is completed, this bit will be automatically uh, made a zero by the microcontroller. So we just have to pull that bit. So using these two instructions, we have created one loop and it will remain in this loop till the conversion has not completed. And uh, when the conversion is completed, this go done bar bit will become zero and it will come out of this loop and it will execute the next instruction. So here again, uh, the result is present in ADRESL and ADRESH registers. So since we have selected right justified, the result will be lower eight bits will be stored in ADRESL and upper two bits will be stored in ADRESH. So the lower result we have copied from ADRESL to working register. And from working register, we have transferred it to port D. Similarly, we have to copy the uh, upper two bits from ADRS H register into working register. And again, from working register, we have to copy it to port C. So uh, again, uh, we have used go to start instruction. So we can have multiple conversions of A to D that is analog to digital uh, signal, right? So uh, this is the program. So once you have written the program, you can build the program. 
and the hex file that is created that you can transfer to the protease circuit so for that you can to just double click on this select the folder select the hex file click on open okay and you can directly start uh, playing the circuit so here the value displayed is 1 ff for the analog value of 2.499 that is almost 2.5 volts so you can observe that if i move this spot uh, towards uh, vcc the voltage here will also increase and at the same time the value digital value here will also change so if i take it to, to the maximum level that is of 5 volts i will get here 4.99 that is almost 5 uh, volts and for that we have value as 3 ff so in this way we can vary the uh, analog input and we can get the digital value of that at the output so if i make it zero i will get zero zero as the digital value so the uh, link for the source code and the simulation is available in the description of this video thank you